five mindfulness practice which I implemented during my job search which helped me to stay emotionally and mentally healthy and I hope it will help you as well. Let's go. Number one is self-compassion. If you haven't already, then start practicing self-compassion. Give yourself permission to take breaks when you need them. This can include taking a walk, talking to friend, going to swim or doing something creative and fun which you totally enjoy. When you're looking for a job, it's so easy for us to become so consumed by the process of job search and constantly think that you have to do something, you have to search, you have to connect with people, which actually leads you to burnout, stressed out, overwhelmed, exhausted. So I would recommend that you practice self-compassion, give yourself a break when you need them acknowledge that the job search process is challenging is difficult is exhausting so it's okay it's okay to take breaks and it will help you reduce the feeling of guilt that i'm not doing something and maybe by doing not something is actually what you need to do to be energized and to get back next day with the full power <laughs> second is focusing on what you can control it is really really important to focus on what you can control because it allows you to feel more empowered and less stressed job search process can often feel very unpredictable and frustrating it's so easy to feel that you have no control over something you have no control over the outcome you are not getting the responses you are getting rejection and you're focusing on the negatives instead of focusing on what you can control you will feel like you're actually making some progress towards your goals how do you do that number one is setting some form of structure and goal to your job search it could be as simple as like creating a goal that okay every day morning i'm gonna you know apply to 10 jobs i'm gonna connect with 10 people and i'm gonna do you know 10 job search problems or coding problems having some form of a specific and achievable goal is going to give you a sense of direction and a purpose you wake up you know exactly what you're gonna do so create some form of structure and a format to your job search another thing you could be doing is working on your job application which means uh, working on your resume practicing mock interviews working on your cover letters making sure you have the right keywords uh, connecting with the people these are the things which you can focus on because they are in your control versus focus focusing on the outcome of your job search. Number three is having some form of support system or a support group. You should absolutely surround yourself with friends and family who understands you and understand the situation you are in. Trust me on this, job search is very, very lonely process. It is very stressful. It is also something with, where you feel very discouraged during the process. So instead of going through alone, having this set of people who you can call, uh, explain them what you feel, explain them like what you are going through. I have done this as well. I've called some of you and I've called some of my friends friends there where I, I will ex explain them like okay I bombed the interview and I feel so terrible or you know I'm not getting back responses from them I had my first round and they ghosted me all these feelings you can talk to them and they might actually give you back the encouragement and the support you need and the things you need to hear in addition to the emotional support they might also actually be able to help give you practical support what I mean by that there are some friends who are in the job I am doing so they might actually give me practical advice on my resume or on my answers they might help me to do mock interviews and they can tell me okay instead of saying that maybe say this or the way you structure your story instead of that say that regardless if you need emotional or practical support you should surround yourself with the people who understands you because it's going to help you reduce the feeling of isolation and stressfulness and all of that fourth one is celebrating small wins finding a job can often be like very long and discouraging and challenging process and you will feel like there's no progress being made hence celebrating your small wins will actually help you there to feel like you are actually making some progress you are moving forward versus you are being stuck even completing your resume or or your cover letter and all of that it just gives you the sense of you're making a progress it helps you shift your mindset from one of the scarcity to one of the abundance when you have the mindset of scarcity you typically try to feel like negative and you start to doubt yourself on the other end when you have the mindset of abundance uh, you feel a lot more positive and hopeful you realize that you are making progress you stay motivated and you are optimistic during your job search process last but not least is practicing self-care daily the job search process is going to be emotionally and mentally draining trust me every time i do the interview i feel like 
I don't have any more energy. I just want to be done with this process. I felt that or I'm applying every single day and wake up with the something like rejection or I've sent five requests and I don't hear anything back. It will feel mentally and emotionally very draining. So practicing this self-care will actually help boost your confidence, mood and positive outlook towards your life. What do I mean by self-care? There are a few things. Number one is physical exercise do some form of physical exercise meaning maybe go on a walk or do yoga or do some stretches second could be meditation and fun fact uh, for some of you who might not know this that i was an advanced meditation teacher yes i used to teach meditation and i believed in the benefits of meditation i still do it uh, i would recommend you to do meditation um, as simple as just taking 5 minutes after this video shut it down close your eyes and take some deep breath and just focus on inhale and exhale just doing that that is a meditation you don't have to do something fancy just 5 minutes of focusing on your breath can help you feel calm and centered and focused another way of doing self care practice could be journaling a lot of time we go through so many thoughts and feelings we have during the job search process instead of just thinking it all in your head write it down on the piece of paper practice 5 minute of journaling every day in the morning or in the night this will help you process the emotions you are going through you can reflect on what you are going through and finally start practicing gratitude what i mean by that is a lot of time during the job search process since it's lonely process isolating challenging discouraging and all of that you will feel a lot more negative towards your life towards yourself so practicing gratitude the things you are grateful for in your life it could be as simple as having an apartment having money to eat your food even as simple as having a stable mind and physical body where you can walk and things like that practicing gratitude and being grateful for what you have is going to help you to look more towards positive outlook versus negative outlook of the whole job search process summarizing the five practice number 1 is practice self compassion number 2 is to focus on what you can control number 3 is having the support system and the support group around you number 4 celebrating your small wins finally number 5 is to practicing self care daily i hope this video was valuable and uh, Uh, hoping that you are starting these practices today if not already doing one if you are already doing one of these practices or something new which i haven't covered it please let me know in the comment section and that way others can learn from you and i will also learn from you so together we can create this community and if you need some more practicals and hands on tips there are several podcasts i've been doing link in the description go check it out i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got to hustle every single day